Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet, and I have a few Dollar Tree items that I wanted to put to the test in today's video. I just went there recently, found some really cool things that I thought were worth a try. So in today's video, we're gonna do a Dollar Tree toy test. This one is brand new at the Dollar Tree, and I only saw it at one store. You might have to keep your eyes out for it. It's called the Bubble Shuttle, and you're gonna find it in the outdoor section where all the play toys are for summer. It says it's for ages three and up. So this says it has six pieces, and you have to assemble it. Here. I have some basic instructions on the back of the package. So we have the base. It says add bubble solution to this part right here. This is our shuttle. So that actually goes like that. And then here is our bubble wand piece, which we put in between that. So that's all together. This will go on to here. Actually, I think this goes in first. Situate it so that the hole aligns with this little hole here. Snaps into place. And we have our tube goes like that. And then this is our puddle that we use to blast it. So when we blast it, it should shoot off into the, oops, hold on, <laughs> it should shoot off into the air. Let's, let's just see here. Yeah, <laughs> there it goes. So this one we're gonna have to take outside and get some bubble solution. It doesn't come with bubble solution, so we'll have to get that and try that out. I took this outside in my yard to get it situated. I did have to adjust the tubing and the pedal so that it laid flat. I did pour some bubble solution in it. You really don't need that much and it lasted maybe about four or five different launches. This toy is a little finicky. So just keep that in mind. It's probably not suitable for the toddler age, preschool range. They might get a little frustrated. After a couple of tries, it got better and better. So this is one that has a little bit of a learning curve to know just the right amount of pressure. Finally got it to launch higher and higher and the bubbles were flying. This little guy was doing exactly what it was supposed to do. Did involve some finagling, so it's not for the little, little one. But because I said what it's gonna do, and it was kind of cool, we are gonna keep it. We're gonna give this one a thumbs up too. This is the Novelty Light Projector. I saw this in this blue with all of the astronauts and also a pink version with some flowers on it. Mine was in the toy section, but I wouldn't be surprised to see this in like the little gift section that they have in some Dollar Trees. Here is the projector. It looks like we're I need to add some batteries. What does it take? It says it takes three AAA batteries and then we have a switch on here to turn it on and off. And then it has all of the little holes on the sides and the top for the light to come through. So we're gonna have to take this, put some batteries in and try this in a dark room. Once I got the batteries in, I need, it immediately came on because the switch was on and it was blinking. I actually wanted to see if there was one where it just stayed on the whole time. But according to the package, it looks like it has changing lights. So here's a trigger warning for those who are affected by flashing lights. This will continuously flash. So let's take it into a dark room. I picked the laundry room because it's completely dark in there. Turned it on and then switched off the lights and was majorly surprised at the projection of this little thing. It went over the entire room. Now granted, it is a small little room, but it actually hit the walls and projected all of the different shapes. This one was the space shape, so we had rocket ships and planets and stars. And then it did change color and flash, probably a little bit too much on the flashing in my opinion. However, some people might not be bothered by that, especially if it's in a larger room. So if you're okay with the flashing, then this definitely worked and did what it said it was going to do. We're gonna give this one a thumbs up. I'm gonna be keeping this one. This one is the Magic Kitchen Sink. This was in the toy section. It's recommended for ages three and above. I was actually very curious about this one because apparently you can put water in it and it will come through the faucet part. I think we're gonna have a little bit of assembly. There's 12 pieces that it comes with. Let's see what we got here. And this looks like the faucet, a little basket. We have a tube, some kitchen utensils, cup, saucer, fork, even a little sponge, some pretend soap, and another piece here. So we gotta put this together to the sink and I'm just going to, oh, there's a knife too. I'm gonna match up the picture. So we gotta assemble the tube into the faucet, put it in the bottom of the faucet, and this will go, that goes into the center of the sink. And there's a little clip here to hold it in place and you put it through that hole there. And then it should go up into the faucet, which is a little tube in there. So then we just have to put some water in here and then we can push this button to make the water come. Then we have some other accessories to add on to here. Looks like we can put this on here. Maybe put it on the right way, Christina, instead of backwards. <laughs> and this is where our kitchen utensils can hang. 
And in trying to put this on there, I just totally broke that piece off. So I cannot hang my kitchen utensils on there. And I'll probably, okay, there it goes. It snaps on, but I'm telling you right now, that's gonna snap off very easily. And we have a kitchen basket here to drain our dishes. Guess we can put our sponge there. And we are set up to clean. We just need some water. I filled up the sink with some water. I did it in the bathroom in case there was any water mishaps. I later added a towel. Did a little pumping action and it started to come out more like squirts than flowing water. Keep that in mind. If you're wanting something that actually flows water, this probably isn't the right toy. And for $1.25, it was actually doing the water, but then it felt like the tube got kinked or came out. So I took it apart and reassembled the tube back in there and gave it another try. This time on top of a towel. This is definitely going to be a very wet messy activity. So if that's not something you're into, this is not right for you. But if you don't mind a little water player, maybe you're using this outdoors to do a little muddy kitchen play. This would actually be kind of perfect. The water did come out of the faucet, but it was more squirts than flowing. It does do what it says. And because it's $1.25 and it does work, I'm going to give it a thumbs up, even though it's not flowing water. I think your kids could have a lot of fun with this for a really affordable price. This was a last minute addition to this test because it's not technically a toy, but it is an art and craft item. And I know kids like to use arts and crafts. This is the Crafters Square canvas pad. So if you're familiar with canvas paintings, this is a pad of canvas papers. And this is, it has 10 sheets in here. Brand new item, never seen it before. So I thought I'd check it out and oh my, it totally is canvas. I wouldn't say it's the most greatest of quality canvas, but it definitely is canvas. You can even see on the back, it's a, you can see the canvas grain really well. And on the front, it looks like it's already painted white. This is pretty cool. So I pulled out a sheet of the pad. Some of the adhesive did come with it, but you could always cut this down to a smaller size. You can even wrap it around things if you wanted to. It's just very, very flexible. So I'm going to go get some paint to try this. All right. So the packaging says that it is to use with oil and acrylic paint. So I found some purple acrylic paint here. For some reason I thought you could use watercolor on it and that didn't work. And let's just try some of this. Okay, so it feels like a canvas painting mixed with paper because it's kind of soaking through a little bit. Let me see the back. Not soaking through the back, which is good. I would have to say for what it is, it does have that canvas feel. For $1.25 for 10 sheets of that, I think you can get away with doing some pretty cool stuff with this. Um, not only just using it as a picture, maybe using it to fit over other things glue it down and it's much cheaper because this is 10 sheets versus buying one canvas at Dollar Tree for $1.25. So we're going to give this one a thumbs up. Let me know if you have some ideas on how you would use this. All in all, the items in this dollar toy test were actually really good. Sometimes I get some bad ones, but I'm presently surprised for the price and for what they do. They definitely deserve a thumbs up. If you have experience that is different than mine, I would love to hear about it. Leave me a note in the comments and tell me what you think. If you like this video, I'm gonna put another one up here on the screen for you to go watch next. I will see you over there. Make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up. Show your love.